Hey guys, this is going to be a Swinging Chains uh, Slayer Guide. Um, this is just my skill setup from a PvE min-maxing standpoint. Um, and I actually think uh, Swinging Chains is going to give you more DPS than what everyone else goes with Blood Harvest. I think it's just a terrible skill for PvE and people are all complaining, Oh, why is my Blood Har Harvest going to get nerfed? It's going to kill Slayer. No, it's not going to kill Slayer because Swing and Change is better, is better than Blood Harvest currently, with Blood Harvest still doing good damage in PvP. Anyways, uh, the first skill, uh, we want to take Shadow Cloaking because it gives you an extra 3 seconds. This one is 6 seconds, you can get 3 Twilight Scourges out. This is important because with that extra one, you can go into a boss fight with two stacks already and you can get two free crits out of it. Uh, the second free crit isn't going to be as high as the first one but uh, it's still a free crit and that's a lot of damage. Uh, and uh, we're using swinging chains uh, like I said before it's just a uh, superior skill. Um, we'll go over more about why this is so good later. Um, this this tier right here that's this is more preference. I prefer, I prefer the, the shadow because you know, I can teleport around. You can use this more, but I just use it for mobility, getting places faster. And you can sometimes skip some some pulls. Um, this one, I I picked up bait because uh, when starting early on, you don't have the paladin symbol to save you in uh, big AOE pulls where trash mobs will walk up to you and literally one-shot you. Uh, you could just throw this out there. It'll pretty much kill everything for you and let you uh, do whatever you want there. It'll pretty much clear the whole pack. Uh, pretty short, relatively short cooldown. You use it once in between boss fights. Um, this one, another important one, especially for swinging chains, because uh, we got to use swinging chains three times before we want to use backstab uh, to get that stack. Uh, this will regenerate your energy quickly so you'll throw that down to start spamming swinging chains and uh, you'll be able to use it three times quickly uh, while you're standing in this. Uh, this completely useless I've never even picked it up. Uh, this one is another very important one for swinging chains. This, this is what how we pretty much have a rotation. Um, Pretty much what this does makes your backstab, you, you walk into a boss fight, your next backstab is going to do a shitload more damage. Um, but wait, swinging chains also increases damage of backstab. Would you look at that? We're stacking damage on damage. Uh, but why is it also uh, extra good? It's because it also resets whenever you do shadow cloaking or complete cloaking. So you want to go into a fight, use up your backstab, it's going to have increased damage here. It's going to have three stacks of this increased damage. It can crit. It can make. It can go from like a 10k non-crit to like a 45k crit. Uh, so that's pretty significant. So uh, after you do that, then you just uh, you hit your your shadow cloaking, and it actually is going to give you your buff back. So whenever you you're using Twilight Scourge, you get your your huge nuke out of that. You come back out of stealth, and this is ready again. You start charging up your swinging chains, get three stacks, use it again, and uh, like I said, it could go from a 10k non-crit to a 45k crit. That is huge. So we're stacking tons of crit in this build. Any crit, anywhere you can get crit, you want crit. All of your rings need crit. All of your rings need luck. You want crits from crit from all of your chapels. Uh, crit everywhere. Um, so uh, the talents here. We this one isn't so so useful. Um, I picked it because there isn't really much else that we can really use. Uh, a lot of people pick this. Uh, however, I don't even really use the basic attack. It's, you're just busy either spamming uh, uh, swinging chains or doing something else. I actually use this guy here for if, I, if I've got downtime. I'm using my right click uh, because it's guaranteed crit. Uh, after after that stack gets to even three since I've got enough crit now I don't even need to stack it to four for that free crit so uh, this one is just it's just a little bit extra a little cooldown reduction on on, on complete cloaking um, this one is uh, you got your you know, your four your four crits or your four uses and it's a free crit really good uh, uh, because you're definitely wanting to get the talent that uh, makes your crit apply a bleed for the for the value of your luck uh, so that's it's really good to keep that bleed up time on. Uh, this no-brainer here. Um, 
if there's any kind of boss that you can drag through your bombs, you want to do it because your bombs do ridiculous damage. You think Twilight Scourge hits hard? Uh, this, if you can, if you can lay all your bombs in a single line up against the wall or something and drag the boss through, it'll do just as much damage. Um, here we go. Uh, first strikes. Um, this one is it's pretty good and it's just extra damage. No, no real reason to explain that. Um, this is actually a really good survivability boost. Uh, whenever you don't have anything, you sometimes will use up all your energy. You don't have anything left. You just throw that down. Mobs stop hitting you. It gives you a little bit of time to regenerate. Get some more damage out. Uh, this is the reason Swinging Chains is also much more damage per use and per energy spent than your blood harvest because it comes with uh, the, the, the tooltip here isn't very clear but essentially what this means in English is it has a 21% increased chance uh, to crit just swinging chains does so why are we stack we're stacking crit already so uh, this is going to have a really high crit chance I and mean, your, your crit chance caps at 50% but 50% uh, crit is going to keep up the bleed dot. It's going to give you way more damage because we're already stacking luck. It's just really fucking good. Uh, last thing I just threw in is uh, the bait does uh, reflect damage because you know those those pack mobs hit so fucking hard. It's it's like giving them a taste of their own medicine. It's it's just great. All right, we're gonna jump over to a clip of what it would look like when you're walking up to a boss. Uh, so you always you're always able to get your three stacks of uh, swinging chains here because uh, you're just off trash on on the way to the boss. It's really important to get those three stacks. So uh, we've got our buff, we've got uh, our other buff. So we're gonna stack them together, open with that, go immediately into Twilight Scourging. And since this guy isn't even a boss, he's not even going to live through that. But uh, when this ends, you would normally start using Swinging Chains again. You can put down your bomb for the energy regeneration. I see how fast it is to get those three stacks back up. And you would use Backstab again. And if that had crit, that would have been another 50k damage. The boss would have been hurting pretty bad. But uh, that's that's the basic rotation that you'll be doing. Um, I'll be doing some more some more guides on on specific instances, uh, probably down the road. I'm pretty lazy, so I'm not sure when that'll actually be. But I'll I'll try to get that done uh, to see how you can actually apply it and move quickly through a dungeon. All right, thanks for watching, guys.